All right, guys, what's up? I know it's been a little bit again, once, like usual. But anyways, we finally got the car back from Rice Fab. G37's done. The 370 right now is at Brock's house getting turbo kit fab done and stuff like that. We should be picking up a turbo kit this week. Uh, also got a new dog, meet Cash. What's up, Cash? Just picked him up, so tonight's his first night with me. But anyways, I'm gonna check out the rear crash bar set up here. Got the radiator, fueled racing radiator in the back. Rise fab, killer, killer work on all the all the rear construction and the front construction. We got the tubes uh, on the ground right there. We gotta paint that. So Ryan's gonna pull all the rear stuff apart and the front tube uh, work apart so we can paint that stuff tomorrow. Right now, Aaron's cleaning out the pilot hole, putting in the pilot bearing. We're gonna try and get the monster triple disc clutch installed. Check that bad boy out. Woo! Billet, billet, bat, billet madness right there. Triple disc, uh, the race, the race version. So super glad to have Monster on board. You can see we got the Haltech IC7, some excess power stuff, some RC car stuff that recently I've got into during this quarantine <laughs> stuff, which is probably a bad idea. But anyway, we got Ryan up here. Ryan's fab made this awesome splitter bar. The splitter bolts to that here, and uh, tube work. We're running uh, just a headlight lens. And then running the LED lights behind that because G37 headlights are like $500 used and there's just no point in when they get busted up and stuff. So anyways, this weekend the goal is to get the G37 as far as we can done. We'll be doing uh, steering column, uh, putting trains in, running radiator lines, uh, hooking up the fuel system and everything like that. So we got a lot to do, but we more than likely get most of this done before I get Human's car back so I can start trying to get it going also huge thanks to crazy cart and formula d we got these crazy carts as you can see we're charging it right now got to air the tire up a little bit uh it's supposed to be charged for 12 hours so we're letting that happen we're going to charge it overnight and then we're going to test her out tomorrow and see how she does so anyways for tonight we're going to go ahead and finish up what we can and then uh also i got this my stepdad's tundra over here and I'm doing spark plugs, spark plugs, front brakes and rotors on that right now as well. And also, my buddy Gabe is going to be coming and helping clean up the shop and work on the 240 sum. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Uh, so we already broke the crazy cart today. We uh, destroyed one of the caster wheels out on some pretty uh, chunky pavement. Ryan's got uh, some of the crash bars and all the tubing and stuff done by Rise Fab, all painted black. Instead of doing hammer tone this year, we went ahead and just painted everything black in here. So, pretty clean. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try and uh, get the radiator mounts uh, welded, which those are aluminum. Try and get those done. We've been doing a little bit of cleanup in the shop. Gabe's been working. We got his LS tore down. We're going to put a cam in it, some lifters and stuff. So, he's been working on it. I'm trying to show him a little bit on LS engine, how to take it apart. Maybe he can do some of his own shit for once. And then, we got the steering column. I welded it up. This is a sweet MFG uh, steering column. So it's really not, nice. everything works on it. So we got steering now. I gotta make the firewall bearing plate still, which kind of sucks, but uh, with it, with this steering column though, I'm actually really surprised on how well, it, uh, you know, how well, how sturdy it is and everything. Anyways, we got fan up here. We're trying to paint all, get all this stuff to dry. Uh, so we can go ahead and put some of this stuff back together, like the headlight lenses and stuff like that. I'm going to put the water pump back on and try to run coolant lines and stuff today. And then, um, I don't really know what else we'll get accomplished today. Oh, we put the uh, spare coolovers on so that I can send the two ways, Fortune two ways off to, uh, back to Fortune so they can rebuild them. I've been running on them for two years, no problem. So need to get those straightened out. So really other than that maybe hook up the fuel cell and stuff when we when it gets dry so we can put it back in put the radiator and stuff back in and uh hook some wires up and really uh switch the kill switch uh cable the kill switch cable's got to be on the driver's side this year cal so we're gonna leave the kill switch where it is and then run the cable up underneath and all the way over so we'll have uh the kill switch on the correct side for this year it was a new rule change for formula drift and then we got the sfi bell housing that's going on as well which we already were running that anyways so and then we got sfi shift boots which was a new rule as well for fd so we'll be also incorporating that as well got the parachute mount 
doing a little bit of half mile races or something this year and the brakes on these things with manual brakes aren't that great so definitely can use the parachute i had it on my 350. so a little recap over the weekend uh me ryan and aaron we got a lot done on the chassis got everything painted up got the f i just got the fuel cell back in it today they had to go back home unfortunately back to louisville but uh huge thanks to those guys dude they've been putting in a lot of time helping me out trying to get uh get these cars ready should be getting Hooman's car back on Friday, dropping mine off with uh, with uh, my buddy Brock, trying to get the turbo kit done on mine, but the turbo kit is almost done on Hooman's. And guys, y'all are gonna be pretty pumped on that. That thing is sick. Brock did some crazy fab skill, got some crazy fab skills, got a bunch of it done. Uh, I showed y'all earlier, I got the steering and everything done. Uh, got all the spare coolers on. I'm about to pull it off the lift right now. But anyways, we got all the stuff painted up here black. Uh, got to touch up some of that paint right there. But anyways, got to pull this down pipe out. Put some spark plugs. Put the water pump. Should have the fittings and stuff for the water pump. Thermostat housing all that this week. So I can go ahead and route all the radiator lines and everything like that. But anyways, just wanted to do a little recap. To show you guys kind of what's been going on um, at the end here. You know, got all the bars put back on. I got to tighten a field real quick before I push it out. I got a truck that I got to do a transmission swap on real quick. So, you got to try and get that done. But for now, this is going to kind of end this video. Um, so, just wanted to say thanks to all the people that have helped lately through this COVID-19, man. It's super hard for everyone, all the companies, all the people that are helping us out. I know it's tough and we just can't thank all you guys enough. Uh, just there's a buttload of sponsors that have been helping us get parts and stuff for these cars and, and to get it through, get all this stuff in the time like this, it just really shows the, the amount of support you guys have. So y'all, y'all have everything since you guys got our backs, we got y'all's, we're going to do our best to represent y'all the best we can. And if y'all are watching this and y'all are trying to build some cars and stuff, use the parts that we use hands down some of the best stuff you know you can get your hands on and it's definitely improving as you guys can see so anyways uh that'll probably be it for this video um probably try a video a little bit through the week and especially when i pick up the cars from brock so